If you want to get wall splits that go from this to this to maybe even this, then follow along to these stretches. To start, land your back and we're going to do 10 forward kicks on one side. This first one is mainly just to warm up your legs before we get into the deeper stretches. Now lift up that same leg and try to pull it as close to your chest as you can. This stretch is great for improving hamstring flexibility, which is so important for getting a deep wall split. This routine is for all flexibility levels, so if any of the stretches are too difficult, just do the modification on the right side. You can now get out of that stretch and we're going to repeat the kicks we did on the other side. hold the laying leg lift on this side. Just go as far as it takes for you to feel a stretch and make sure to keep both legs straight. For the next stretch, sit down with your legs straight out in front of you. Once you are sitting like this, reach up and then reach as far forward as you can with your toes pointed. Slowly come back up to sitting and then we're going to repeat the same stretch except this time with your feet flexed. You should feel an even deeper stretch in your hamstrings this time. Next, go up into a downward dog. Staying in your downward dog, we're going to bend each leg 10 times to feel an even deeper stretch in the straight leg. Still staying in the downward dog, we're going to do backwards kicks. To do this, kick one leg at a time as high as you can. This is great to do for wall splits because you're basically kicking your legs into the same position they would be in in a wall split.
Now repeat the 10 kicks using your other leg. Even if you only want to get wall splits on one side, it's super important to always stretch both legs to keep them as even as possible. Next we're doing a standing pike stretch, so basically pull your chest as close to your legs as you can. To get the most out of this stretch, make sure to keep your legs straight. You can now come out of your pike stretch and then go into a lunge trying to push your back leg as close to the ground as you can. Staying in your lunge, place your elbows on the ground for a deeper stretch. Now bend your back leg and straighten out the front one to go into a backwards lunge. Once you're in your backwards lunge, try to flex the front foot and reach forward. slide into as deep of a split as you can. To get your wall split flat against the wall, you definitely need to get your splits all the way down, so that's why we're working on it right now. It's totally fine if you can't do a full split yet. Just go as low as it takes for you to feel a stretch, and over time as you do these stretches, your splits should get closer. If splits are easy for you, I recommend doing an over split here instead. Still staying in your split, reach forward. This is basically the same position you're in in a wall split, so this is a great stretch to improve them. For our final split stretch, try to arch back as much as you can. If you don't have your full splits yet, don't worry about arching back, just try to keep sinking closer to the ground. You can now come out of your split and then transition to laying on your stomach and arch back as far as you can to stretch your back. We are now going to repeat the leg stretches we just did, starting with a regular lunge. You can now place your elbows on the ground. Now go into 
the backwards lunge. We're now going to do splits on this side. You're getting so close to the end of the routine, so don't give up, just think of how good your wall splits are going to get if you do this consistently. In your split, reach forward. back or you can also sit up straight if you don't have your full splits yet. You can now come out of your split and then slowly go up to standing. Once you are standing up, find a wall you can split on because we are about to finally do wall splits. To do wall splits, place your hands on the ground and one knee on the wall. Then straighten out both legs and try to push your hips as close to the wall as you can. If you can get into a full wall split, you can slide the front leg forward to go into an over split. Don't push yourself too far to the point that it hurts, just go to where you feel a stretch. And to finish off this routine, we're going to do the wall split on the other leg. You've gotten this far, so no point in stopping now. It's totally normal if one leg is more flexible than the other. As you'll see, my other leg can get much further than this one, but I still try to stretch them equally, which is why we're doing this side. To get the best results with improving your wall split, I recommend to do this routine daily, or at least three to five days a week. And each time you do it, try to sink a little deeper into your wall split if you can. Great job, you completed all the stretches. Feel free to add on another stretch routine if you'd like. And I hope to see you back at this one soon so you can get your best wall split possible.